this is Minecraft, but if he screams, I win. Today, my friend bet me $100 for every time I made him scream in Minecraft. He thinks he can't get scared, so we have five attempts to try. Like this. All right, Nestor, every time you make me scream, you get $100 from me. You got five attempts. Go, go. Okay, let's begin at level one, where first, we gotta make it nighttime. Time, night. That's a lot better. And as you can see, we don't have a lot of space at the beginning. Later on, we'll get a lot more. I do have a plan, though. So what we need first for our first scare is a normal villager spawn egg, where I'm gonna be making sure he screams right away, because every scream is $100. So we're gonna spawn a villager right here and use our coder item that edits things. So for example, we right-click this guy, and now we can code. And with this guy, I'm planning on making him into a court monster. First, we're gonna stretch his arms out and put them by his sides. Let's adjust his texture a little bit and put some big X's over his eyes to show he's not feeling so great anymore. Looking pretty good. Let's go lay him down on his back now for obvious reasons. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and make a copy of him and stand him up almost like he's coming out of his chest. This is the creepy part. And speaking about creepy, we gotta add some fingers. There we go. It looks very weird in Minecraft. But now let's give him a creepy looking head. Starting by removing his nose and giving him a big old mouth. Oh yeah, that's nice and creepy. But it needs some teeth. Let's add some teeth right here. This jaw looks great. And now some time for polishing and animating. Perfecto. Now that he's all cleaned up and scary looking, let's go ahead and click the confirm button in 3, 2, 1. And now for the code. So this will be an easy one. His type is villager, the health, dead. And what they're going to do is resurrect if players nearby and eat Calvin. With, of course, a scary noise that you guys will see very soon. All right, let's go ahead and confirm in three, two, one. And we got it. The court monster spawn egg. We're going to be spawning him right there. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's going to come up and now he's lying down. As for what he does, though, let me show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and go game mode zero. Go up to him. Oh, there he comes. Yep, eat me. That should scare him. And now we're on to the second part guys. I had my friend build this area where we're going to make Calvin's goal get to that final button right there. We got to decorate this a little bit though. So right now we have nothing and now we have a hallway of doom, which we got to add a lot more things to. But their goal is to make it to this button right here or we're going to code it real quick to do something. Real quick, let's code that. Or the code for this one will be simple. It's going to send them back to the main area and it'll complete level one. By then, hopefully have a good amount of money. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. And now we have a working escape button. Okay, but what is he escaping from? This is where it gets fun. So as you can probably tell he's inside of a villager why don't we add a more scary villagers so yet again we have a pretty normal villager let's make him a little bit more scary all right let me right click you again and this time we have a bit of a head start we're gonna start off with the body we just made previously with the not fully alive villager from the start and we're just gonna get rid of the normal villager body so he's gonna be going from one nightmare to another one because now we have the scary model alone and we're gonna give him a brand new animation let's go ahead and bend all these extra arms into a much better position and i'm liking this but it's just taking up a little too much room let's shrink it down a little bit there we go looking good and now to get him to walk let's close his mouth entirely and start swinging his arms i think that's looking creepy enough all right let's go and confirm and time for the code all right this is the scary vanishing villager you guys will see very soon why but we're gonna make him very fast with 10 health and his skills are to vanish randomly and chase calvin and of course he's gonna roar on tack let's go and confirm in three two one and we got him the scary villager spawn egg he's alive look at him and of course he vanishes every once in a while and so he's gonna spawn in and immediately see two of these guys randomly vanishing but we gotta make it difficult so we're gonna spawn in a lot of these let's real quick spawn in a good bit right here and oh my gosh every one of these guys is a jump scare speaking about jump scares i also made some of those watch this if i press this button on my keyboard we get a jump scare but you don't get to hear the noise yet until calvin plays okay this is not scary enough though we want to get money so i have another plan guys right now if we search for an item and type in player head it's a normal steve head but what if i told you we can make a jump scare laser if we place it down and use the coder item watch this let's real quick right click you okay we're gonna be getting straight into the code with this thing but it's called the scream beam where the texture is gonna be a screen beam texture that i'm powering you guys will see soon and the main skills are to laser trap on timer you guys will see what that means very soon and to summon a scary flying villager on detect so pretty much a jump scare all right let's go confirm in three two one and we got it yo the scream beam oh and there it is guys so when can oh my gosh yeah, it does that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not supposed to scream, but pretty much whenever Calvin goes up to that thing, he will get jump scared. Also, this guy spawns in. It was pretty easy to make him. Anyways, I'm going to be putting a lot of screen beams around here, just uh, all over the place. Let's get these guys going. And Calvin is going to have to go through all of these. Yep, this is getting pretty up there. But we have one more guy to make, guys, just because why not? Calvin's going to spawn right there with the netherite sword, probably. So to greet him, he's not going to see these guys right away, but instead, this villager right here. We're going to call him Bob. Hello, Bob. But Bob is going to become a different guy 
real quick. Let's right click him and now to edit Bob. Okay, so you guys might recognize this guy, but if you're new to the channel, pretty much we're gonna be making the guy with knives yet again, but we're gonna make him even better. And as you can tell, pretty much imported a kitchen knife and remade a guy from the past. He had some red eyes, an evil smile, and he had a very creepy run that is gonna be mainly annoying to fight in combat. But what's getting better this time is the code. So let's click confirm in three, two, one. And this is the scary knife villager. Or yet again, he's a villager. And the main new things are the skills being stab, leap, and laugh. Well, of course, the sounds added. Once you guys see the animations, you guys will see what I mean where he's gonna be annoying to fight. Anyway, so let's click confirm in three, two, one. And we got him, the scary knife villager. Oh my gosh. Okay, yep, this is who he's getting greeted by. And not one, but three of these guys. And after he takes these guys out, he's gonna have to go through all this. Yep. I'm gonna be getting a lot of money. So that should complete level one right here with our friend that Calvin's gonna go up to. Now let's see how he reacts. Here we go. Calvin, welcome buddy to level one of where every time you scream, I'm gonna be getting $100 richer. Are you ready, buddy? Of course, Nestor. Yeah, I'm ready to scream. What is that? What's over there? Oh, 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 don't, don't worry. But, okay, but before okay, you yeah. go there, I'm gonna give you a couple things. You get all this netherite armor and those things right there because uh, you, you honestly need it. it. It's gonna be a little bit tough, but I mean, that, that's all I'm gonna really say. Your only instructions are go up to that villager, talk to him, say hi, explain your day, all that good stuff, and I'm gonna disappear now. Okay. All right, good luck, and uh, please scream. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, well, it's not gonna be hard. This guy's dead. Nestor, dude, what is this? What is happening? I gotta talk to this guy. I don't wanna talk to him. He's dead. Ah! Oh, he wants green! Oh, he ate yes! me! What is this? Welcome to inside <laughs> the villager corpse, buddy! Where your goal is, uh, first, you should probably take out these guys. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not very nice. They have knives. Not very nice, I can tell. Let's see these PvP skills, Calvin. They come out of the ground. And so now let me explain to you your goal. One, you, you see those guys all over? They're, they're very nice. All you gotta do is get to the end of this hallway. Uh, you can ignore those noises. Those are just you know, nice noises, but at the end of the hallway, there is an escape button. And with that button, you can get out of here. And if you don't, well, you know, uh, just scream, please, because I gotta get richer. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, I'm getting out of here, bro. I'm not getting me. <clears throat> oh my god! Wait, what are the. Ah! Oh! That's that, bro, what is this? Yes, go on, my what is Oh my god, dude. Where's the button? You got this, Calvin. Give me the button. Oh, oh you got it. Oh my gosh, honestly, that was pretty impressive. Calvin, all right, how many screams did we get there? I. None, of course. Uh, uh, okay. You okay, got none. Okay. <laughs> That's how much money you owe me so far. That was only level one, Calvin. Are you ready for the next war? I don't know no. why you agreed to this. No. Okay. Well, give me a couple <laughs> hours. We'll be right back. On to level two. Here we go. Okay, so before we get to level two, to ramp things up, guys, as you can see right here, we have a mod called Scary Mod. But I'm going to give it to Calvin and just call it Shaders. I'm going to say you need these shaders. There actually will be some shaders. But just stay tuned because this is going to do some craziness. Anyways, now that the Scary Mod is ready, on to level two, where we got a bigger red square, but we're gonna be doing something special here. It looks completely normal, but the only thing we need here is gonna be a single button. That button right there. But we gotta add some code to it. So real quick, let me right click you. And this is the idea I have to make him scream this level, guys. This is the back rooms button, where the only skills are to drag down on press and to teleport into the back rooms. So let's go ahead and click confirm in three, two, one. And I already had the back rooms made by a builder, and this is what we're gonna be taking to get there. So let me show you guys. All he has to do is right click this, and then he gets pulled in. Okay. And now this is the back rooms, guys. It doesn't have much right now. And you'll have special shaders. Let's go back and create a mode. And time to make this place scary. So first off, this is the area we're working with where it is gigantic. He's going to be spawning somewhere over there. And his goal is to make it all the way across without dying and screaming to that orange block over here. And you might be wondering what's down here. Well, let me show you. If he makes it all the way to this corner, I'm going to be putting a special painting right about here. Uh, Maybe not that one. This one. I like like that. It's a little bit scary, and it'll be the only painting in the entire place. That being said, let me add some code to it. Let's right click you. Okay, so we're just gonna be starting with a basic painting. I'll put the scary one afterwards, and we're actually gonna make this mob behind it. Okay, let's start with the basic stick and give it a hand and some fingers. Perfect. Now let's throw a quick texture on, and I'm thinking black and purple. I love it. Now the only animation we need for this is that it stretches out out of the painting and swipes and hits Calvin. So let's get that made, and I'm gonna guarantee that he screams with this one, guys. We gotta make as much money as possible, and I'm counting for every scream. Okay, time to go this up. We're just gonna call it the skeleton painting, and the only skills are to devour Calvin on click and make him escape. So when he gets to this, not only will he maybe scream, but also he'll win the area. Alright, let's click confirm in 3, 2, 1, and now it should be ready. That being said, you guys won't see an action until Calvin actually gets here. That's only the exit, though. Let's go all the way to the start. Alright, so if he starts right there, the back room sees a monster. So let's go all the way over here, just so he gets a nice surprise, and we're gonna code this out of nothing. Let's right-click you, and now it's time for the back room's monster. So for this one, I want 
went ahead and started with this rough shape of basically a blocky stick figure, and we're gonna spend most of our time focusing on his texture and animation. So let's start with the texture, and by that, I mean getting rid of all of it. Trust the process, guys, it'll look great. Okay, so this is the reference image I'm trying to make from the viral backrooms video, and we're gonna start with some black squiggles. Graphic design is my passion, guys. Now let's expand those squiggles to his entire body, and let's add a splash of some dark green for some texturing. It's kind of looking good now. I know for you, it might just look like a blurry mess, but once this gets animated, he's gonna be looking great and hopefully creepy. Like this creepy idol animation. We'll also give him this sort of leaning and intimidating look like he's stalking someone smaller than him. We'll add some wiggles to him to make him really come to life. Okay, I think he's kind of looking horrible, but in a good way. Yeah, sure. I'll make some more animations off camera, but let's move over towards his code by confirming in 3, 2, 1, and now to the code. His type is going to be Enderman, where he's going to be invincible. Calvin can't kill this guy with medium speed, and of course, scariness all the way up to 1,000, where the skills are to vanish randomly, stalk Calvin, confuse Calvin, and devour his soul. And you already know, there's going to be a jump scare when he gets hit by this guy. All right, let's go ahead and confirm in 3, 2, 1, and we got it! The Backrooms Monster Egg! All right, let's see him come to life. Oh, gosh. Uh, but, 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 did he just disappear in here? Um, oh, there he is! Yo! Yeah, be some squiggles. But we're not just gonna do one. There's gonna be one that way, one this way, one this way, and one this way. All waiting for him. And let's make sure to put some more just in case he thinks he got away. And now at the very end, we have this guy. I'm gonna put a screen beam right here, just so he has to dodge that at the very end. And one final scary villager for him to fight right at the painting. I think we might be ready now. All that's left to do is real quick put a sign right here and say, find the painting, dot, dot, dot. And Make it glow. That's his only instruction. Oh, and by the way, I have one final thing I did off camera. Let me show you guys how I'll be scary. So not only do we have these guys, but something chasing him around sometimes is gonna be me, where I'm a monster too. This is Scary Alex. Also, that's ketchup right there. But looming in the corners, I'm gonna be chasing him down just like this and pressing this hockey. Not scared. Here we go. Calvin, welcome to level two, where we need to get some more screams out of you. So yeah, it's not you happening. only have one easy level this time. There, there's no Oh, no body. You just got to go up to that guy right there and press it. But, but before you do that, did you install the mod I sent you? Yes, of course. Okay. Okay. That, that's all that matters. Okay. That's going to activate some shaders at some point, but don't be worried. All right. Again, I'm going to disappear and uh, please scream for money. Good mm, luck. I don't think I'll be scared this time because now I'm in control. It says don't press me, but I don't care. So yeah. Okay. I went through the floor. No way. Find the painting. I'm in the back rooms. Welcome to the back rooms. Oh, and now that I snap, now we got the shaders. Whoa. Okay, buddy. This is the back rooms. And as you can tell, Bro. everything around you is going to try to kill you. Why? You need to get out of there by finding the special painting, which uh, hopefully you do it soon. Oh my God. <laughs> so what he doesn't know right now is I'm disguised and I'm going to scare this dude. Here we go. Be careful. Everything's trying to kill you, Calvin. I Whoa, I don't like that thing. That's another scream. Hey, I'm Oh the my body. god. Alright, where am I going? Where's the painting? Oh! Oh, Calvin! Run, Calvin, run! Bro, I don't see a painting. That staticky thing, he teleports me. I don't like that. Oh, wait, I see a thing. No way. I'm back at the painting. <laughs> yeah, that's back at the start, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go this way. Where is the you're painting? You're getting close. Look out behind you. Oh! Go, go, come on. You got, you're almost out. Okay, I don't want to go in that painting. Buddy. All you got to do is right click it. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to get out? <laughs> yeah. You already did a lot of screams. <laughs> do your thing. All right, Calvin, buddy. You may exit now. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, Calvin, how was that? Did you like that? I'm sweating. Hey, hey, hey. It's hot look, in look, here. Look, look. Oh, oh, my look, God. Look, look, still here. Yep, yep, yep. Anyways, on to round number three. Sorry about that, Calvin. <laughs> Time for level three. And because it's a new level, we get some more help. For example, we now have a builder. And I've already coded a little thing right here where the whole point of this level is gonna be finding Alex. So Calvin's gonna be going through here, getting a really cool effect and appearing on the other side where not much is happening. But I did get a build team to build all of this. And you guys will see very soon what's gonna happen. That being said, let me show you guys what we got first. For this round, I got made bloody footprints and bloody head imprints. But this is actually ketchups, don't worry. That being said, we're gonna make these guys lead all the way up here into this cave where all the scary stuff is gonna begin. That being said, let's put a sign right here and just put down the mission. Mission, find Alex. And let's make it red to make it a little bit creepy. So Calvin's gonna be going in and following these guys all the way in there. Before he gets there though, let's add something scary. As you guys already know, this video right now, the villager's my favorite mob and they're pretty easy to make scary. So watch what we're gonna make now. Let's right click you. First, we're gonna start off with our scary villager again and we're just gonna remove that jaw of it. Let's make his head a bit longer because we don't just 
one creepy, we want this guy to feel weird. Now let's stretch out his body, and we're gonna get rid of his old arms and legs. I have a much better idea for them. Okay, we're gonna be taking the super long limbs off his back and use those instead. But this guy's missing something. His nose. Let's have that back really quick. Okay, I do like the shape we have going on. Now let's fix his texture and make him a lot more ominous. Ooh, yeah, this is very weird. I like it. And I'm gonna go ahead and animate him off screen. Anyways, he's ready now. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. And this is gonna be the Slender Villager. The creepiness all the way up, guys. Nine, 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 nine. Very slow speed. And this is the fun part, guys. They're gonna hide if seen, teleport randomly, and stalk and abduct Calvin. And to make it even creepier, they're gonna whisper randomly, and it's gonna be a horrifying noise on attack. You don't wanna miss this guy when he finally gets to Calvin. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And now we have the Slender Villager. But here's the thing, guys. When I spawn him, you guys won't be able to see him until Calvin comes. So we're just gonna put a couple around here. There we go. And now let's actually get to the main mission, which is to find Alex. So Calvin's gonna have to follow these footprints all over. I'm gonna make it very easy where he just has to go straight this way. And his goal is to parkour all around here and make sure he doesn't fall. But finally, he's gonna get all the way over here where the build team left some signs on where to go. All right, let's keep putting footprints. And when he gets here, not only does he have to worry about that, you guys know what that is, but we're gonna go ahead and put some more of these guys all around of this entire mega village area. There's not much to do here. It's pretty abandoned besides the villagers, of course, the slender villagers. But his main goal is to keep following these signs all the way to this area right here. Here's a sign for him. And there will be two slender villagers right there. But once he gets to this area, it'll be some simple parkour. Don't worry about it. And he'll just keep going all the way to this room right here. This is where Alex is gonna be. Let's put one slender villager right there and now pick the area where Alex is gonna be. Let's real quick get to the top right here. And now at the roof, let's get Alex. So for Alex, all we gotta do is real quick right click ourselves, right click. And this is a simple model. We're just gonna be taking an Alex model and laying her down and make sure her eyes are closed for effect. Simple enough. Now let's go ahead and click confirm. And for the code, the main skill is to summon Alex Ghost on click. So that means we're making one more thing. Let's click confirm. And now it's time for the Alex Ghost, where we're actually gonna start with Alex's texture for her ghost here. Let's make her a gold she green and we'll darken out her eyes and give some creepy pupils. Now that we have the texture, let's get her model done. Let's remove one of her legs and turn the other one into a tail. Yep, that starts to look creepy. Now let's give her a weapon and of course, that'll be a knife. Perfect. Now let's send it off to a friend for some animations. Okay, now we have a lot of animations for her from slashes to floating and everything needed to make Calvin scream. Because again, we are still making lots of money from Calvin here. All right, let's go confirm. And for the code, we got the skills of fly, teleport, dive bomb, and haunt with a lot of different screams. Where if he doesn't scream from this, I'm not giving up, but I'm gonna have to bring out the big guns next level. Anyways, let's click confirm. And we now have all the things. First, let's put down Alex right there. And on right click, everything's gonna happen. But that's for when Calvin comes. All right, but before that, let's go ahead and put another Slender Villager down here throughout the house. And why not? Waiting for him right in front of the house? We're gonna be having two scary villagers and one scary knife villager. He's definitely not gonna get tired of these guys. Oh, and I also made a couple new jump scares. Watch this one. Yep, that's without audio. So with all the footsteps ready, I think it's time we do level three. Here we go. Calvin, level three. You are going in here. I ain't it's, going it's, in it's, there. Trust me. Trust me. It's it's very trustworthy. <laughs> I'll tell you your mission soon, but all you got to do is walk in there and I'm going to make it easier for you. I'm going to give you three notch apples just because it might be getting a little difficult. Okay. Um, this isn't enough. I need a sense of being Nestor. The cave has teeth. I mean, I mean, honestly, this is the least scary part, but you, you'll see what I mean very okay. soon. But, uh, you know what? I, I'll walk in there with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to walk all in right. together. Okay. Let, let's go on, buddy. Three, right. two, one. Here we go. Um, welcome, buddy. <laughs> what are those? I'm no longer with you. You're, you're on your own. <laughs> what do you mean? Anyways, <laughs> your mission is now to find where missing Alex is. As you can see on the floor, there are ketchup footprints. It's, it's not blood. It's ketchup. <laughs> oh, oh, and also uh, the whole time uh, the, these are uh, village slendermen. So uh, you might want to stay away from those guys. How am I supposed to stay away from them? The, the blood goes down. I mean, the ketchup packets go this way. Yes, follow the ketchup packets. What do you think about my friends, by the way? I don't like them. I don't like them. <laughs> Oh Least gosh. scary part, my butt cheeks, Nestor. This is terrible. <laughs> Keep following. Also, hopefully you practice your parkour. Oh, I'm kind of doing it. Okay. Okay. Wait. Hey, calm down. No, nothing's going on right now. You're yeah, good, yeah, Calvin. No. You're, you're chilling. You're vibing. Everything's good. You know, how's life been? It's been pretty good. I'm not very good right now, Nestor. I'm surrounded by skeletons. Hey, I mean, hey, hey, just, just normal, normal Minecraft skeletons. What's back there? Hold up. Wait, I see a sign with an arrow. Nah, that's it. I'm going. That, nah, 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 nah. What is this? That is warden stuff. I'm not. <laughs> Okay. Keep going, buddy. Follow ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> the signs and the footprints. You're getting closer. Ah, Find what happened. No! Oh, also, your old buddies are there, too. I'm done with this, bro. Gotta run. Where is Alex? Oh They're playing gosh. volleyball with me. You might want to eat those dodge apples. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, they can't get me now. Oh, that's one way to go about it. Oh my oh, god, they oh, can't. No, they no, can't. There we go. Go, 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 go. What's this, bro? Was this the Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Now we just gotta go inside the house, Calvin. I can't get in. I can't get in. Close the door. They can't it, get in. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go, 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 go. I am through. How you feeling? Now that was a nice calm adventure. I'm feeling good. There's a turkey on the on the block here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nice turkey. You got it. All right, let's go. Do Oh, yeah. You know, not nice, safe. Nothing's going on. Just chilling. Yeah, I'm sure about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Following the ketchup. Me and you. I'm, well, I'm not really here. I'm just, I'm just no! oh, 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 Calvin, he might need to eat notch apple. I'm not burning up today. It's not happening. Oh, good, all good. He's on fire. No, no, that was an awful joke. I'm so sorry, Calvin. <laughs> oh. Oh, now where is this going to lead? Okay, my one of my friends is here. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, there my go. gosh. Go, go, and go. I can Buddy, he's coming through the door. Oh, well, um, that wasn't supposed to explode, but look, look behind the chest. Just, just so we can appreciate the build, right there. Oh, it's the hidden door. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to go that way. My bad. Uh, something must have blown it up. Yeah, I did it. But I will say, Calvin, you are getting closer. Just keep going up. This brother made a haunted mansion. I don't want to open doors. I, I'm not having a good time. I need, I need a peek control to peek around corners. A peek control. Okay, okay. Don't worry. You're getting close though. Oh, what happened? Who did this? Your last task, Calvin. Right click. Right click. Oh! What the wait? You have a boss to fight. Have fun, Calvin. If you die, it's triple the money. So okay. figure it out. That's not happening. Figure it out, he says. He says figure it out, and then he leaves me with a ghost. Get out of here, ghoul. Get away. Oh my god. I owe you at least ten thousand dollars. You did it! Oh, yeah, GG. I did that. Alright, good game, good game. Alright, level three's done, but I gotta say, Calvin, you've you screamed so many times, I'm actually running to the bank right now. But you know okay. what? All good. We're gonna enjoy at level four. Have fun. Here we go. Call you in two hours. Bye. Time for level four, where we gotta change up our strategy a little bit, guys. So so this time we're gonna do everything inside this red square and all we need right now is a double chest so we're just gonna put this right here and to make it a little bit weirder you guys will see what i mean soon see the moon right there time day smooth we actually need it to be daytime right now because what calvin is doing this time is literally just playing some normal minecraft his goal right here is gonna be right on this sign in the middle and it's just gonna say goal build a house and name dog smiley face seems pretty harmless and it is daytime and all the materials you'll need are are probably right there. As for things we'll need, we'll probably put one tree right there. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's bone meal the stuff a little bit too. Another tree right here. There we go. And that should be good for our first mob. You guys will see very soon. And from the trees, we actually need to go ahead and put a nice beehive right there. They're probably usually not like that, but it'll be very helpful. You guys will see it in a bit. So because we also need a dog, let's real quick get a dog spawned in right here. Leash him to the fence. And he's gonna need these to tame the dog right there. Okay, now for the fun part. Obviously, he's gonna be a little bit suspicious. But what he doesn't know is that when that hits midnight, everything around him is about to go against him, including hostile mobs. For example, I made this item right here. Start T4, which will make everything into a monster. But we gotta make the monsters first and make them scary. So, let's start with the dog. Let's right-click you. And so, we're gonna be starting with the puppy. Let's give him some shorter spiky ears and let's white out his eyes to make it a little bit creepier. And then we're gonna cover him in some ketchup. That's ketchup. Let's add in some spooky-looking bones and now just some more texturing details. Okay, I'm okay with this wolf, but let's send him off to my friend to really make him look good. Oh my gosh, okay, they really outdid themselves with this one. Holy, the animations are insane. All right, let's click confirm, and now let's make him scary. We're gonna make him pounce Calvin, devour Calvin, and also give him an awful roll randomly. Will he be expecting this? Probably not, and hopefully he gets us some screams. All right, let's click confirm in three, two, one, and now it should be good. You won't see the scary version just yet, not until Calvin goes through it. That being said, the next scary thing we're gonna do is gonna be a little bit weird, but the tree can't even trust a tree, guys. So all we gotta do now is real quick, right click the tree with the coder and yep we are literally starting with a basic tree model and i'm gonna split it in half and add some teeth now we just add in some eyes and with some polish this is what we have let's click confirm and of course the code is just gonna be a slow tree that will attack calvin only if not seen and if seen they're gonna hide all right let's get it in the game in three two one and now it should be set up again we gotta wait till calvin's on okay dog is done tree is done but what about the bee i think this should spawn in something scary too so for example this right here it's a normal bee but when i right click it we're gonna make this guy a lot scarier of course we're gonna start with the normal bee but we're gonna duplicate his body and try building up the body let's give him a 
big old stinger. That's pretty good. And some angry eyes. Perfect. Let's click confirm. Time to code. And his skills are going to be the infinite sting, break windows, and poison Calvin. So if Calvin uses the glass, this should make it so he can't even hide in his own home. All right, let's go confirm in three, two, one. And this guy should be a little bit different where we just got to spawn in normal looking bees that will transform when we right click this. All right, normal dog, normal bees. Now for the main scary part. Once he realizes everything is attacking him, we're going to be bringing in lots of zombies and lots of scary skeletons. So for example, the zombies can come from this way. Oh, oh, uh, maybe not him. This zombie will come from this way. Let's go to him real quick. And we're going to be starting with a classic zombie, of course. And I want to go ahead and give him a creepy mouth. So we're just going to lower the jaw. Well, next, we'll add some teeth. Let's fix the mouth a little bit. And now we're going to black out the eyes. Now let's send this texture to my friend so he can polish and animate. And this looks pretty good. Holy. All right, let's click confirm. And for the code, he's going to be hungry for Calvin. And I'm not going to be only doing one of these. I'm going to be doing so many where they can do zombie piling. Not only that, but they can break blocks. And I don't think Calvin will be safe hiding from this one. So let's click confirm. Oh, and now we got it. The awful zombie spawn egg, which like I said, guys, they're not going to be visible right now, but I'm going to spawn a lot of them all around. This is like 40 of them right there, and they'll only appear when I right-click this. But we still got to do the skeleton too. So let me spawn in this guy real quick. Sorry about the burning. Let's right-click you. And now for the last mob of this level, we're starting with just a vanilla skeleton. Let's start with step one, which is making a bigger rib cage. I'm going to freestyle this one. I'm just going to see how I can make a skeleton scarier because it's just bones. But we're going to make his arm super long and we'll get rid of one of his legs and give him one super long leg. Let's get a texture going. I'm just going to darken the normal texture up. And now let's get him some dark red eyes. I adjusted his mouth a little bit. And yet again, I'm going to send this off to a friend so we can get a very good version. Oh, we got big old bones in his hands. These look pretty great. All right, time for some animations and that should be good. Let's click confirm and for the code, he's going to be using multiple bows because all the bows and he's going to be able to fly and snipe. Honestly, this might not be the scariest thing ever, but it will cause a big problem for Calvin. All right, let's hit confirm. And now we have it. The awful skeleton spawn egg, which will spawn maybe like seven of these right all around and everything should be ready now for when I right click this. Oh, and you might be wondering, how is he going to know what time it is? Well, I'm actually going to be the guy that gives him the clock. Yep, that's me. How? Oh. I'm never doing that again. I always say that, but I'm not doing it ever again after this. I'm so creepy. All right, let's get started with level four. Calvin, time for level four, where we are going to be doing a simple one this time. Your, your only purpose here is to go forward, read the sign, and just have fun, okay? No, 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 no tricks, maybe. Have fun. Have fun, he says. Have fun, buddy. I'm going to disappear now, okay? Goal, build a house and name a dog. I can do that. That's no problem. So what he doesn't know right now is I'm going to be doing this command right here, and I'm going to be giving him the clock till death. Let's go up to him. Okay. Calvin, buddy. No. As you can see, you have a visitor. Mm -hmm. They're not here to hurt you. They're just going to give you something. They're giving you something you'll probably need. And it makes sense for what's going to happen, maybe. <laughs> Maybe, but did you read the instructions? Clock until death? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I ignore that part. It's supposed to be sunshine and rainbows, but pretty much build a house, tame a dog, and uh, name the dog. Because, you know, you're supposed to be in a good, you know, survival setting. Have fun. All right, okay. I'm gone now. Bye. All right, I guess I'm building a house today. I'm looking over my shoulder every two seconds. I got birch logs. Who gave, who put out these materials? These are terrible materials. Hey, man, baby. Hey, I mean, it's a nice house you're making. <laughs> I, 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 I respect it. What did you name the dog, by the way? I haven't named him yet. I'm going to, I'm still thinking. You're thinking, okay. Okay, are you gonna tame the dog? Oh, that's what the bones are for. Yeah, let me tame that guy. Cool. I have a best friend now. I got his name. I'm gonna name him Brick. Brick! Yeah. Beautiful name. Name Love it. Brick. Amazing stuff. Look at this house, though. You're gonna get the window set up and everything? Of course. Time until death. Bro. What do you think that means, by the way? What, the clock till death? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, it's probably counting down until I die. Till you die. Now, hold on a second. What? Oh my god. Buddy, everything's normal. Uh, you still gotta finish your floor, by the way. Nothing is normal about this. I'm just chilling. Oh yeah, well, at least one of us is chilling. One of us is chilling, and the other one has anxiety the size of Kansas. Let's see. How do I make a roof? Mm. Ah! <laughs> just ignore it. Didn't happen. Hey, you're vibing. You're vibing. Yeah, you're you're yeah. living your best life. You got you got the house going and everything, and that, that, that's all that matters. Yeah, no, I'm cool. I'm fine. Everything's... Just take a deep breath. Mm. Yeah! That's how we... All right. What's up? <laughs> well, what's going on, Calvin? You pause your talking to you. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, everything's everything's fine. Everything's oh my god! Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine. Well, what's wrong? There's things. And that thing, it's just watching. It's just a fan, man. Be nice to them. No. Okay. He's just standing there. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Calvin's sitting on the house. I'm chilling. Sitting on the house. Chilling on the house. Okay. Oh my god! Um... 
I have to improvise. I ran out of stuff. There we go. The house is almost done. There we go. There we go. And then when I put this bed down, the house is complete. There we go. Hey, the bed is now look down. at you go. Yeah, look at that. This is beautiful. <laughs> Welcome to nighttime! Calvin, you might want to stay in your house if you want to survive. Why is it my dog? What happened to Brick? By the way, I'll take the extra money. By the way, also, the trees are alive now. Have fun, buddy! <laughs> Why are the trees alive? Yo, they're doing damage. Actually doing damage. Not Brick! What happened to Go Brick? Go, Brick, get him! Go, trees, get him! Oh, my God! No! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is incredible. Where's my God apples? Nah, now they're all dead. It's over. I just had to kill my dog. Okay. Oh, why? What are those? What do you think about the skeletons? I don't like them. Nah, dude. This is crazy. Get away. What is the tree doing? <laughs> so, like, if you haven't noticed, they only attack you when you're not looking. That's insane. I don't even want to kill them. I, I like these. I like this thing. Ew, no, never mind. I don't like them. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you drop your sword? Yes. <laughs> well, Calvin, with those extra $100 that I just got from those screams, congratulations. You beat level four. This is how much money you owe me on the screen. How do you feel? Not coming out. Oh, oh. Well, that means it's time for level five. What? Calvin, I'll contact you in three hours. Here we go. Time for the final level. Level five, which as you can see, it has no red square. And this gave me an idea. Because I don't have a building area for this one, there's only one thing left above us, and that's the moon. What if we took the moon, made it scary, and made it eat Calvin with a jump scare? That's what we're doing right now. Let's right-click the coder at the moon, and we're really doing this, guys. We are literally making our own moon. And since the moon isn't a model, We'll make our own. Let's get a giant cube and build off of that. And we'll round it out a bit to make it uncanny. Okay, guys, I have this ball, but we can get a much scarier model. Let's send this off to an artist that knows what they're doing. Here we go, guys. Nice and round and creepy looking. And I actually requested a special animation where the moon eats Calvin. You'll have to wait until he goes through it to see it. But now let's go confirm and let's go to in where it'll send him. So it's the moon. The health is infinite. It's unkillable. And its only skills are to approach Calvin and eat him. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. And now we have it, the scary moon spawn egg. And I'm not spawning this in though until Calvin comes. Let me show you where he gets sent though. If we go to this warp right here, we're gonna be getting sent to the literal moon maze where he's pretty much screwed over. Any direction he goes, it's gonna be a dead end. But my goal now is gonna be a bit special. If you guys remember, we made him install a mod where he thinks it's shaders. But in reality, we're gonna be crashing his computer and leaving something on his desktop. That'll be the final scream and to crash his computer. And while his computer crashes, we're gonna be spawning in a lot, and I mean a lot, of the scary villagers. All of these guys are gonna be just maxed out with screams, and of course, I have my screaming buttons. And so when we crash his computer, you guys will see what happens, and we'll see how much money he owes me. So now, let's real quick spawn an infinite amount of these guys. Oh my gosh, there's so many. My computer's already lagging looking at these guys. Holy. I think we might be ready, guys. He probably did not expect for me to crash his Minecraft. Let's see what happens. Calvin, it's time for the last level. We spent a lot of time on this one, but okay. here's your only mission. Look up at the moon. Are you ready, buddy? Just want me to look up at the moon? Uh, yeah. Nah, see, Nestor, I like the moon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god! What is that? That is the giant scary moon! <laughs> what? And now it's grabbing you! Okay. Join, buddy! All right, where are we going? Oh, oh, here we go! Moon of screams? All right, Calvin, go ahead and decide your fate. Behind you or forward? I'm going forward. Oh gosh, okay. You don't know what's about to happen until all of my enemies are coming! Oh my god! Oh gosh, oh gosh. No! He's already, he's already! Oh my god! Where am I supposed to go? So what Calvin doesn't know right now is I'm about to press a button where I'm gonna crash his Minecraft. And when that happens, you guys will see what his desktop picture is. Bro, what is this? They're just throwing me. Oh! Jesus! Keep screaming, buddy! You gotta get outside! Oh! <laughs> this is crazy! And for the final move, Calvin, I will now be crashing your computer. Have fun! Bro, this is impossible. Three, two, one! Oh, I crashed. C Calvin. What the? What is this? <laughs> That's it! Bro! You screamed a total of this many times. We counted it after the fact. It's, it's over $1,000, buddy. Oh, my... Bro. I, I deserve compensation for this. Uh, but buddy, I, I, I am so sorry. Thank you guys for watching. That is it. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos. Calvin, sorry. Well, I'll invite you to another one, okay? Maybe you can get payback. Okay. No! Bye, guys!